is about to attempt a brand new Guinness World Records title for the most nails inserted into the nose in the time of 30 seconds. So, uh, well, it's Donnie, not brand new, I got a record to beat. You so I set it at 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get to 16. So do you want to tell us a little bit about, about yourself and then maybe the history of, the, of, the, of this nail act? Yeah, my name's uh, Mr. Donnie V, Gentleman Oddity. Uh, I perform what's known as the Human Blockhead. Well, the Human Blockhead is a stunt that was made famous by uh, Melvin Burkhart. He wasn't the originator of the stunt, but he was the first one to really make it popular. Uh, the entire act is where you take like a, a, a steel nail, you hammer it back into the nose, and you live to laugh and joke about it. Let's just make sure everything's cleared out. Make sure everything's ready. Yeah. All the way in. Up and down, left and right. Oh. All right, I think we're good to go. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so I probably don't need to say it, but I think I will anyway. Kids, do not attempt this at home. This is actually a very dangerous record attempt. Uh, Donny is a trained professional. It's Friday and everything's still closed. I'm eating Manx at 5, which is in about an hour. And I'm going to film another show where Manx is in. It's Prohibition. I already filmed League of Sight Show Superstars. Um, and actually today I've edited a little promo video for them. I kind of took a bit of an initiative and I think they loved it. Which is pretty cool because they're an awesome show and um, that is really grateful like, to, to be able to see it. And I really wanted to make something cool for them. Like one of the reasons I really enjoy uh, filming and photographing shows is not only because I get all the memories and ca get to capture all the memories, but also I'm very, very grateful to all these people because they're so nice and lovely to me and so accepting. I know that many people find sideshow scary. Um, I don't. But it's, I mean, I don't understand it's partly because I've seen it so many times. But at the same time, um, it's also because I, I think I trust these people in, in a way. Trust is an emotion, but at the same time, it's, it's a thought. It's a logical decision. Yesterday I was holding a flower for a space cowboy to crack it with a whip. And... I don't find that scary to be honest because I've seen him doing many many times and I just know how good he is. So it is a very calculated trust, if you could say so, if I could put it that way. You deserve more and more you will have. Anna's gonna hold these flowers one more time, but this time Anna, don't hold it in your hand. No, this time you hold it in your hand. That's right. And right, since this is, we know we're just like that, perfect. And since this is twice as dangerous, you'll go twice as crazy. Right. About. And I'm, in general, all for calculated risks. I think it makes life way more exciting and interesting, but at the same time, I'm not into yeah let's just do something crazy and hope for the better i want someone to be in control of things Take my 